Here's a quick unboxing video of Ryobi's new hammer drill. And let's get started. All right, so I've been looking for a new drill here for a little bit. My old trusty DeWalt finally kind of gave up on me. And uh, I, I already have a handful of Ryobi tools. Seem like they hold up for what I need to do. They're affordable for DIY people. Seem like they do pretty well. But uh, yeah, I was looking at the original Ryobi hammer drill and uh, I was gonna go out and buy one, but then I saw that this one was gonna get released here pretty soon. It has about the same amount of torque, still brushless. I think it has higher drilling speeds. So, we got a bag. Open up the bag. Let's see what else we got in here. We got instructions. We got the charger. We have the drill itself. Got a four amp hour battery. The handle. That was one thing I really liked about this newer version is the way the accessory handle attaches. I like it a lot better. Yeah, I like it. See what the battery comes with. About half charged, so I have to charge that up. One thing I kind of miss, I wish it had, was the some of the Ryobi models had the mag tray and the little bit holder. Kind of like my uh, impact driver that comes in handy. I wish they would have kept that. Got the left, right, block. Sounds pretty powerful. Alright, so we'll take just a a little bit closer look at the drill and its features. Just lightly hold down on the trigger and you have the little LED light coming on. We have 22 different clutch settings. Then you have the drill, hammer drill. Two different speed settings. Fast, slow, and then the accessory handle, it kind of fits into these little notches right here. I'll show you how that goes on. You can kind of see on the handle, it has those two little notches that'll fit into those recesses right there. So, so we can get those on there. Make sure they're in there. Tighten her up. That'll be good when you're doing more high torque situations yeah the old one it attached right there and was kind of close it just seemed kind of a weird spot to put it in my opinion but yeah the chuck looks really nice it's steel steel it's got the little ratchet to get it tight Yeah, let's drill some stuff and see how it does. All right, to start, we're gonna go with an inch and a half wood screw and a two and a half inch wood screw. See how they go. Let's try it on setting 15, see how it does. We're in the high setting. That was actually the low setting. Let's try the two and a half inch screw on the high setting, get it started. No problem.
to actually split the wood. Take those out. Yeah, I really like this handle. It gives you a lot better purchase on the driver. This thing's fast. Let's see what else I got. Maybe we can try a paddle bit. All right, let's try some drilling. We have a 3 8 inch drill bit. Put it on the drill setting. And let's see how it goes. Right here. Pretty fast. All right. Let's try try a half half inch paddle bit. test we're gonna try the one inch and I have cut some stuff with this one before so this isn't a new bit but and then again remember that we're only on 50% charge right now too so keep that in mind let's see tighten this down a little bit more let's see Adjust this a little bit. All right, still there in the high high setting. Let's see what it does. Pretty fast. It's already for, through that first one, but my clamp was moving, and I didn't want to drill through my table, but. As you can see, it goes through pretty dang quick. I think I'll like this new drill.